So I'm working out of town again this weekend, so once more my apologies because I'm halfway through the battery video for the lightning rods build, but I like to do a good job with my videos, so next week though, I promise. This week though, I wanna show an update to the back 800, 855 mount I've been working on for a little while now, and get some feedback before I make this available on the store. I'm trying some new ideas to make them out more useful to e-bike builders and help with tidying wires and cables. So with the previous versions, it attaches to the frame with two zip ties and there's channels that are routed or formed through the mount to do so. Uh, I've also included more zip tie points down the side, which um, will let you run wiring along channels that have been chamfered, I guess, into the mount. And I'm gonna supply some zip ties suitable for that application. The hole at the front is intended to allow the harness wire through to the front of your bike for like the display, brakes, etc. And this hole will actually accept a Bafang size of harness that you can feed through from the back as a channel inside that runs all the way to the front and out of there. The cover plate at the back now attaches with four M3 bolts uh, I think that's a bit more secure than the two screws that I was using through the side. And it also includes the window in the top, which will let you see what the little LED in the back of here is doing. And that flashes out error codes if you have a problem with the back unit itself. And you can look up where the problem is. So that's the, uh, the 855 mount, and I'd love to hear from people. It's great to hear feedback and ideas often do make it into my design. Um, for example, I was asked if I could use like a countersink on the bolts, um, which I've done here. I have to get the countersink bolts ordered in first though. Um, I've also seen a few people making uh, a plate to go over the end to further waterproof this. And I'm going to edit this again to put a little mounting face inside to allow people to make a plate to go in there. It's not something that I can really do myself because the thickness of the wiring harness exiting out of the back does vary from build to build, but it'll give people an option to put something on there and do a really good job of waterproofing that part as well. As well as the 855 work, I've also made these custom handlebar brackets for mounting the display that's used a lot with QS motors, but apparently doesn't come with them. So these are gonna go one each side of the stem on the handlebars and then the display bolts in through these so it's just two parts with the nuts embedded in this piece and it just bolts onto the handlebar. Um, I can make this mount available and I can also edit it to do different things or different displays or mount different things and it's fairly fairly easy to do um, so if that's something that you're interested in let me know. This um, was a custom one-off job, but I am happy to take on little projects like this. So if there's something that you would like me to make, shoot me a message. There's a link to my Discord or our Discord channel now really in the description where we can have a chat. You can also contact me on Messenger as well. I can't make any promises, but I'm pretty sure I'm a cheaper option than anything else out there. I'm also happy to do custom versions of the products that I already have available, such as mounts. This um, particular one here is heading off to Mighty Electric Carts, who will be using the back 8000, I'm presuming as a way to supercharge the performance of their electric go-karts. So this original design has been modified to allow them to put the back on the floor of the go-kart and have the heatsink facing up in the airflow and the harness wires exiting through this part over here through through the middle, as you can see in the photos that I'm displaying. So once again, thanks a lot for watching my channel and there will be lots more on the Lightning Rods project coming next week when I'm gonna talk about the battery system finally and the various different options that I have for it and which ones I'm probably gonna be using going forward. Thanks again, cheers.